Evening guys and girls, uh, Mick, being the main brew, this is another beer mail review. Uh, this one was kindly sent to me by Steve Molson, Plot 42, and it is No Borders Pale Ale, 6.5%, 6.54%. Uh, he kindly sent me some uh, notes. Uh, so the no, the, hmm, it's the first one on the list, but there we go. Yeah, no borders. It was bottled on the 24th of the 3rd, 17. Uh, it's got pale malt, and then first with hops, I think that is, FWH, 15 grams citra, 15 grams of hull melon. Never used that, so uh, we'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. Um, 29 grams citra of 50, and then uh, Irish moss, and then he's dry opt it with 44 grams each of citra and hull melon. USO5, 70 minute mash, 90 minute boil, come out at 6.4%. So another one that's uh, up my street. I'm going to use the little bottle capper that was kindly sent from I Want to Brew Chris. Thank you very much. Um, forgot to use it on the last one. I do apologise. I had it hanging up, but let's uh, let's crack her open. Let's um, I'm gonna make something to try and catch these in. Maybe a little basket or something up there. And then little basketball baskets, and we'll see at the end of the beer reviews how many we can get. So let's um, crack it open. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely a, a hiss. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Got that in the bag, right? Right. Definitely a hiss. You can see there's a carbonation. Sorry about the glass, don't know if it's the right glass. Excuse the old fat fingers again. Let's pour it in there. There's plenty of carbonation there, isn't there? I don't know, I don't think that's, well, it, I think it's bottle conditioned actually. Did I dump the sediment in there? No, it's still sat in the bottom, I think. All right. Can you see the carbonation? There's definitely carbonation now. I think I've just dumped a bit of sediment in there, but sorry about that, Steve. But I don't mind sediment. Oh, nice smell. Yeah, right. So I think I've done that. I do apologise, Steve. It's only just come out the fridge, so there's a bit of uh, condensation on it. You can definitely get the colour of that. So let's have a swig and see if we can get there to come back. Cool. Mm. Get a little bit of citra. A whole melon. I've never, I, I don't know, does, does that give it a melon taste? Um, not sure, never used that. That's, um, one that I need to look into, but look, the head definitely comes back. There's definitely plenty of carbonation there. Look, you can see it there, look, when you do. So the carbonation is um, spot on. Yeah, I can get a melon. To, is that, is that, I can definitely get a melon taste now. A little, a little bit of bitterness, not, not too much. Let's have another go. So he's just used pale malt, I presume, a single single malt because it says pale malt. Got the citra for definite. Uh, I've used citra in a few other beers I've done. Definitely get a citra. And now I'm getting um, a melony taste. So is that why it's called whole melon? Because it gives a melony character. And now getting citrusy again with that. That's a um, 6.4. Sorry, 6.54. Great beer. So, so I think that was my nap pouring. Sorry, Steve, but yeah, the head definitely comes back. So nice, tight rule. You guys can't see that in goals, but it's as it's the lace. Nice tight bubbles there. Nice colour though. Look at that. You can imagine sitting in, out on the patio, 
sinking a fair few of those chilled bad boys. Yeah, thank you very much, Steve, for sending me that. That's one of four. I was quite fortunate that I've got four. He's done an ESB. I've just recently done an ESB. Don't can't taste anything with it, so I'll be really interested to uh, taste his. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, fantastic beer, that. Citra. Straight away. Citra, citra. And then I'm getting a melanie, so yeah. Absolutely over the moon. Well done, Steve. Thank you very much for sending me that. Um, all the best. Must uh, return the favour and maybe send you some up. Let you try. I'm not that very good at brewing, so it'd be good to get a some advice. But yeah, top look at that, guys. That's a lovely looking beer. So yeah, thanks very much. All the best to the next review. Cheers.